Hey everybody, it's Megan Barksman, but you probably knew that already, and yes, welcome to my new Let's Play of Sonic Adventure 2. I'm sorry that you can't hear the song that's singing, but I've gotta say, it's a pretty good song. I know, this was a bit of a shocker, wasn't it? I haven't really done anything Sonic related since a couple years ago, and I thought it would be fun to revisit this game again. I have a lot of fond memories of it. I think I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now and overall I think it's a really hidden gem and note that I'm playing this on the GameCube version so Sonic Adventure 2 bad but anyways let's jump on right in so yeah here we go the title screen just like any other title screen I really like the again the themes that have here a bunch of different characters of the game plastered on in the background and yeah, this is again a re-release. This is the GameCube version, if you couldn't tell. Originally in the Dreamcast for 2001, this is the 2002 remake on GameCube. This is the only way I've been able to play it for these many years. You can see this is my sort of test file, testing everything out, the audio, the group of the game over here. So let's just start a new file. And I'm sorry, but I'm sorry that I can't really comment on anything because. The, this this game has voice acted cutscenes, so I guess uh, grab some popcorn because this first cutscene in particular, it is a doozy to watch. Stories. Sigma Alpha Two heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? The Net Hedgehog copy is Over. gone. He's taking out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? Come in. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that Hedgehog! <laughs> Talk about low-budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. And then he just twirls down. Grin. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I've always found that to be really enjoyable for some reason. Oh, uh, man. And for any veterans of Sonic Adventure 2, I'm going to be quiet here for a minute. Attention all units. Suspect seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture the suspect. Yup, it's Escape to the City, rolling around at the speed of sound. Yeah, we definitely are, Sonic. I could basically just listen to the whole song right now, because come on now, it's Escape to the City. It's everybody's favorite meme of Sonic. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I really didn't want to be one of those cheese ball let's plays where all I do is basically just sing the darn song over and over again. But yeah, here we are into our very first level of Sonic Adventure 2. And all oh, oh no. Hi, I'm Homo Jack. I'm here to help. No, you're not. Ah, Homo Chow. Oh, I hate you so. Just, oh my goodness. Of course, everybody else who's played this game knows about Homo Chow as well. Basically, I've I've always liked to call him uh, uh Robo Navi. That because that's basically what he is. He's just ro a robot version of Navi. That's pretty much it. That there we go. But, yeah. So I'm 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 pretty much just gonna call him Robo Navi or Robot Navi for the duration of this entire let's play. But yeah, basic controls aside, you can just sort of go rolling around at the speed of sound. You can press the B button to do a somersault. That's one of the main reasons why I don't like him. My goodness. 
jump on the rail and get ready to grind your way down. Yes, I know. You can also grind on rails. This is a new feature. This was the very first Sonic game ever to have you be grinding on rails. And that uh, reminds me of something that I'll... Uh, want to do. It's it's something to do with the development here. You might have seen that sign from earlier. It says, like, soap, I think. This That's referencing soap shoes. Back in the ye old 2000s when this game came out, there was this company it was soap shoes, and they allowed, they were for skaters, and they allowed you to grind on rails and stuff. And so, lane to development, Sega actually partnered with whoever made those soap shoes. I think it was just soap shoes company i'm not sure but they partnered him so now sonic actually wears these sh soap shoes throughout the whole game and there's advertisements for them throughout the entire it, it was the last minute decision to do the team up advertising but it's definitely true because here we are so yeah that's the main reason why sonic can now grind on rails basically <laughs> it's really funny honestly and uh, they really didn't have to do it in fact in some beta screenshots um Sonic is just wearing his normal shoes, and actually, in the Dreamcast version, um, there are some cutscenes where Sonic's wearing his normal shoes, and he really should be, if I'm gonna be honest with you. But they were fixed in this version of the game. Yeah, fortunately. Yeah. So we have a split pathway down here. I don't think I've ever actually gotten to this one. I'm not sure where, where, where it is. What, what did that sign say? Okay. Let's see here. Where is it? Okay, playing SA2 is habit forming. Don't turn off. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I've never noticed that before, Rick. But I've never noticed that before. <laughs> oh well. Bam! Gotcha. Anyway. Yeah, you can press A in the midair to do basically the homing attack. You can do it when, our, when there aren't any enemies around to do like a quick boost. I guess you can just call it like that. Yeah. And you can use it to basically go from a jog to a high-speed thrust. Is the most loose way I can describe it. Up, uh, nah, come on now. I'm trying to get up. Bam, bam, ah, there we go. That's nice. Okay. Oh, by the way, you see this trail of rings around here? You would think, hey, that's a pretty good spot where you can sort of like glide along the rings. Well, we can't do that, but. Later on, we will actually be able to get an ability to grind along the rings. So yeah, you can revisit later levels with new abilities to try and get different pathways. That's the thing I really like about this game. Actually, ah, come on. Come on, no egg robo. Ah, no! Darn it. Uh, that's definitely something all right. You don't see every day. Ah. Yeah, all yes, Sonic. Oh, I'm doing it! I'm di darn it. Okay. Let's just mm, roll around this loop. And, oh jeez. I, I don't even know what to say. I guess this uh, is also something that I should have brought up earlier. During that transition from earlier, you saw the hero mode or the dark mode. There are two different modes here. You might have seen this from S SA1 if you've ever played that game. Yeah, but y there are these different modes, the different stories that you can play. You're either on the good side or the bad side. Right now we're playing hero mode, but later on we'll go to dark mode, and if you play both modes, then you can watch the secret ending to the game, I guess you could call it. However, on that note, this is not a 100% let's play this time around. This is just plain old, just, just playing the game. No, no 100% this time. I there are a lot of different rules and requirements to get 100%. I'm not really familiar with all of them. And plus, this is a Sonic game. You're not gonna clutter around the world for items, even though that is pretty cool, I think. But it's ba it's a Sonic game where you gotta go as fast as you can. You know, get the best time, show it off to all the kids at school. So now you're the cool kid at school. Nah, at least that's what the old kids did back in the day. But I don't know. Honestly. Uh, uh, okay, that was really cool. Nice. Those pulled, by the way. Yeah, you can grab them and then you can swing them around. And then, oh, a big truck. This is the gun truck. I'm pretty sure that's its official name. It'll basically chase you throughout the level. You gotta uh, outrun it. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, use the boost technique that I told you about earlier. There also, it also does this crash bandicoot thing where there are objects in the foreground that you can't see. And you gotta plan out. It is. 
formally, so that's kind of a bummer. There are, there are ramps placed throughout the level that you can't see right now. And you really want to do them because Sonic does that cool uh, trick thing whenever you go off a ramp and press A at the right time. So you kind of want to go through the level again and try and hit every single ramp, but oh well. Ah, oh, jeez. Anyway, there is Link here. There must be... There must be someone here. Uh, okay, that's a tad bit weird, but yeah, here we are, end of the level. Let's hit the giant ring. Yes! And now it does our score tally. The score, time, rings, and then our rank. Barely made it. Barely made it. And, you might have seen from earlier, I got that Chow-themed key. Well, unlocking a Chow-themed key allows us to go to Chow World. This is the Chow Lobby, where you can go to a lot of different places in the game. Basically, this is the Hub World. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, in this game, as well as SA1, you can go to the Chow Garden. It's basically one of those raising games. You know, you have, like, a pet or something like that. You gotta keep it happy. You can go through races. Stuff like that. It's basically this little side mode. And Yuji Naka invented it into these two games. So that players who weren't all too familiar with Sonic. And didn't want to risk having to fail over and over again. Would, um, like something much more relaxing, I guess. I think this is the... This is Chow World over here. It'll be really... Okay, yeah, here we go. Chow Garden. This is nice. So, yeah, here we are. If you go over here, this is really interesting. <clears throat> you see there's this giant picture of a Game Boy Advance. So, there's a hidden feature with this game that, um, unlike... Uh, well, okay, uh, I'm actually... This is before recording some of the Kirby's Epic Yarn bonus episodes, but... Um, un I actually don't think we're going to be able to do the 3DS content from Kirby's Epic Yarn. Sorry about that. But, on, however, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do, um, the Game Boy Advance, um, the Game Boy Advance stuff from this game. Because, which, would luck have it, the friend that I have that has a 2DS recently got a Game Boy Advance as well, an original one. That's really convenient, actually. So yeah, this is the Chow Transporter. You can, you can, using Game Boy Advance link cable technology stuff, you can do all sorts of things here. You, and if you want to, you can take your own Chow, um, onto the go with you on the Game Boy Advance, and you can play with it a little bit. Like, kind of like a Tamagotchi. In the Dreamcast version, the, the Dream, the Dream, the Dreamcast had this thing where, uh, uh, there was this, like, little screen on the... There was this little screen that was on the... Yeah! On the controller, and you could, like, take it out of the controller, and you could play certain games along with it. It was, like, a little mini controller inside there, and so... In the Dreamcast version, that was taken in place of the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it has this little island you can explore. And I'm not sure how you do it exactly. I think maybe you put it over here, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, pick a... I, I don't even know. Quit. I'm not sure how to actually hatch one of the chow eggs. This is really embarrassing. Uh-oh. Uh, it's... Sort of... Okay, there we go. Yeah, throw it in front of a wall. And voila, we have our very first chow. He doesn't have a name quite yet, but hey, he seems to like us. We're gonna have some fun with the chows later on in the game. I might as well break all the other eggs open, because yeah, they will they will serve up more chow. No, not pet. Gotta throw it at a wall. Wham! Slam dunk! <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Don't yeah, worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> uh, geez. Yeah, he seems like us again. I think there's one more egg around here. This thing that feels like a world-class cheese ball, but it's okay. Not where it is, though. Huh. Eh. Don't worry, buddy. Yeah, I know. 
know, don't worry, buddy. I know. Don't worry, I just wanna buddy. pick him up. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Okay. No, don't I don't worry, buddy. Okay, there we go. And she's but down. Don't worry, no, buddy. Oh, come worry, on! Buddy. Yeah. Oh well these are our chows, anyways. And I'm pretty sure I don't re that yes, that's the thing. Sorry if I'm a little bit hazy worry, on don't worry, the details don't worry, the, on the details of all these things. I don't haven't worry, really visi worry, the, visited the don't worry, uh, Chow Garden all too much. So I don't really know the whole layout of the things. If you take your Chow in here though, yeah, this is the Chow Stadium. This is where you'll train your Chows to do all sorts of things. Here's Omo Chow getting really menacingly into that flashlight. That's a little bit weird. But anyway, um, he can do a chow race or chow karate. So I guess let's go to a chow race first, I suppose. Well, here we are, the chow race entrance. Eh, I don't, our chow is obviously not going to do very well because it doesn't really, we can't really do anything. So I guess we'll just do it when our chow is capable enough, I guess. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, that's pretty much the cow chow garden. We're gonna invest some more time into it when we can do some more stuff later on, but overall, uh, I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, these little things over here. I'm not actually sure where they're supposed to be now that I think about it, but I think if... Yeah, there we go. You give them to one... You can find them to love them if you give them to your chow, then they'll get stronger. So you want to try and find as many of these as you can. You get them mostly by defeating enemies. So, there's that. So, the main goal is to defeat as many enemies as you can so that you can upgrade your chows more. And then when you upgrade your chows more, you can invest them in some more races and karate matches to win prizes. It's really nice. It's a nice distraction from the main game, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, come on. There we go, give. So far, uh... Yeah, right. This, I guess this guy doesn't really have a name yet. You can eventually, you can name your chows later on, but right now it doesn't really have one. So, yeah, saving chow data. Yeah, I know. I know, game. I know. Ugh. Oh, well. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. Bring it on! Fighter Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. So here's our first boss fight. I kind of forgot about this guy. This is F-6T Bigfoot. I really don't like this boss fight all too much. Basically, it's just, you just gotta hit him. But my first time playing this, I just couldn't get it down. I didn't know how to hit this guy. I mean, I've, I, I just did it to where every single time he landed on the ground was when I hit him. But I've seen some gameplay about how you can hit him before he lands onto the ground. But the way I've always done is, after this, you just, after that you gotta hit him. And then after that you can't hit him until you, he's done with his whole cycle. But I've seen gameplay where you can hit him in the air. You can't really get him on. And the, it's not like the camera's really helping, too, by the way. I just get hit by the bullets! I can't really- but come on now! Darn it! Stupid camera! Okay. One ring. Okay. And, and- ah! My goodness! This terrible camera! Can't even really- Yeah! I can't, I'm not even at a range to where I can hit him in- Ah! Oh, but this terrible camera! Oh, uh, this is why I don't like this boss. Because of the time you gotta hit him and the camera and everything. Ah. So bad. It, it just, it tr always tries to focus on, on Bigfoot over here. But it also tries to focus on you and whenever you're far away. It just doesn't work, man. It really doesn't. Sheesh. Oh, no, that didn't work. No, 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 I, I, okay, thank goodness, I hit him. Yes, engage, engage the enemy in the whatever you just said. Sheesh. 
Ah, this boss fight. Okay. Hey, okay. Okay. Come on now. Okay, here we are. Shoot this little missiles. There's only one more phase down. No, 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 no. no. Okay, there we go. It's finally done. Hey guys, take care. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! It's not his speed, he must be using the Chaos Emerald to war. Shadow, I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell! Good. Shadow, what is it? Oh, 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 stay away where you are! Huh? Keep your head! No. What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! What? What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. Into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Okay, as I was trying to say, shush, um, like, what do you mean that Shadow has impersonated Sonic for the likes of himself? Come on now. They look so different. I mean, they're both hedgehogs, and they do look kind of alike. But come on now, Shadow's Shadow's black and, head, and Sonic's blue. It's definitely not the same thing. Come on now, man. Just jeez, ah, let's let's exit because yeah, if you couldn't tell, we're gonna end up the episode here. Okay. So anyway, next time on Sonic Adventure Two. Um, we're gonna continue off Hero's story and also and uh see what Knuckles is up to because it seems like we've got a stage just suited for him. So I'll see you all then. You probably knew that already, so I'll just cut it short here and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.